Out of all the different birds in the world, there are few more vexing when it comes to identification than gulls. Two individual species in this grouping that can pose problems for birders are the Franklin's gull and the laughing gull. While these birds certainly share many physical characteristics, there are actually some fairly reliable ways to tell them apart. The first thing to note when trying to make an identification between these two species is range. Franklin's gulls move through much of the continental United States and into central Canada. They aren't typically found near the ocean coastlines and are much more likely to be in states such as Oklahoma and Nebraska. Laughing gulls, on the other hand, are mostly found along the Atlantic Ocean, from New England down to the Gulf of Mexico. They are not found inland with nearly the same regularity as Franklin's gulls, but they have been known to end up around the Great Lakes. Laughing gulls are almost never found in Canada other than the eastern part of the country, and typically very close to the U.S. border. In sum, range can be a factor in determining species, but can't always be used by itself since there is overlap and both species tend to wander from time to time. Moving on to physical traits that separate these two birds, there is a slight size difference between the Franklin's gull and the laughing gull. On average, Franklin's gulls are smaller than laughing gulls, with a length between 32 and 36 centimeters and a wingspan between 85 and 95 centimeters. Laughing gulls, on average, have a length between 39 and 46 centimeters, with a wingspan between 92 and 120 centimeters, making for a small but noticeable difference if the birds are side by side. With just a single bird or single species present, size should not be used on its own to make an identification. One of the first features that can be helpful to note when differentiating between these two birds is the bill. Franklin's gulls and laughing gulls both have black bills in non-breeding plumage and deep red bills in adult breeding plumage. But the Franklin's gull's bill is more petite looking than the bill of the laughing gull, which is quite robust and slightly curved. Another feature that can be noted is the difference in the white near the eyes. Both species have white that surrounds the eye, but Franklin's gulls have crescent-shaped markings that will be thicker and more pronounced than those of the laughing gull. Additionally, the laughing gull has breaks on both the right and left side of the eye markings, looking more like two semicircles, while the Franklin's gull will sometimes only have one break in the white crescent. When the two species are viewed side by side, this difference is quite noticeable. Out of all of the different ID features used to tell these two birds apart, one of the most reliable is the wings. When they are folded, the Franklin's gull displays large white spots on the tips of the primary feathers while the laughing gull's primaries are either entirely black or show very little white. This feature is most noticeable in breeding plumage birds, but can also be seen in non-breeding adults as well. Speaking of non-breeding plumage birds, another ID point is the amount of black on the head. Franklin's gulls will have significantly more black, almost creating a partial hood, while laughing gulls will only have black behind the eye. Again, this is only in non-breeding plumage, as in breeding plumage, the head color is basically identical. The last difference to note is the underside color. Franklin's gulls sometimes show a light pink wash on their underside that the laughing gull typically does not. This feature can sometimes be difficult to pick out, but can help lead to a correct identification if present. It is worth noting that many gull species can show this pink wash, so like many other identification points, it shouldn't be used by itself, but rather along with all of the other features. In summary, adult Franklin's gulls will have a slightly smaller size, a more petite looking bill, large white crescents around their eye, more defined white markings visible on the folded wings, a hooded appearance when in non-breeding plumage, and potentially a pink wash on the underside of breeding adults. Adult laughing gulls will be slightly larger in size, have a larger and slightly curved bill, have thinner white semicircles around their eyes, have smaller or no white markings visible on their folded wings, only marginal black on the head in non-breeding plumage, and most likely no pink wash on the underside. Although these two birds look extremely similar, there are ways to tell them apart. We hope you found this video helpful. 
To see similar videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.